What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some cheap PlayStation 4 video games that you can get to get a platinum trophy. Now, I do just want to mention some of these games on this list are not completely fun, but I did not buy them with the intent of getting a platinum trophy. Whenever it comes to me, usually I get a video game just to have fun and to play it. So these games, because they're extremely cheap, all of them are under $10 each. I wanted to basically try them out and I ended up getting a platinum trophy. So since it was a cheap way to get a platinum trophy, not necessarily cheap as in I just got it to get the platinum trophy, cheap as in it didn't cost me too much money. That's why I wanted to share this video. So if you guys are interested in boosting your trophy count and boosting your platinums, some of these trophies are worth getting and some of these games are worth trying out. Now, my only problem with a lot of these games are they were extremely short. Some of them I did have fun playing, but they were extremely short and you have to also decide whether or not it's worth it for you. Because for me, even though they're extremely short, some of them were fun, some of them were not. For under $10 each game, to me it was worth the risk. So, I'm just going to get right into the video. Up first is a game called Energy Cycle. It is under $3, which to me was pretty cheap. And the reason I got this game is because I just simply read the description on the PlayStation Store, and it said that it was a simple puzzle game. And I remember back in the day, I used to enjoy puzzle games, especially on my mobile devices. So this game seemed like it was interesting. For $3, it was worth checking out, at least to me. And all you do in the game is you go level by level, and your main goal is to change all the lights in the game to one color, which sounds easy, but whenever you go through and get through the harder levels, it is more and more difficult. There is three different colors that the lights can be, and to make them all the same is extremely hard because whenever you change one, sometimes some others may change as well. So it is a little bit of a tricky game. I didn't notice that it was something easy to platinum. I just wanted to play the puzzle game and I ended up getting the platinum. Now I played it the legit way, which took me about two to three hours to get the platinum, just working my way through each level. But I found out after I got the platinum that there is a walkthrough online that tells you exactly what lights to change on each level to get the level finished really quick. And you can actually get the platinum with under 30 minutes. So if I would have known that, I would have attempted to do that because that would have been a quick, simple platinum to get. But I played it the legit way because I didn't know. Not necessarily that if I had known, I would have done it because I did enjoy the game as a puzzle game, but it just wasn't a lot of fun. It was kind of very short. But the fact that there's a 30 minute tutorial that you can go and get the platinum for, I don't know how I feel about that. If that's something you're into, I would recommend checking out the game. And the creators for the game not only have that game, but they have a whole bunch of other games that are cheap. All of them are around the same price, $3. And from what I can tell online, you can get the Platinum Trophies for. For me, I'm not going to be necessarily getting a lot of those games just to get the Platinum Trophy and boost my trophy count. Because I'm more into fun games to Platinum. This game was definitely interesting and for $3 you couldn't really pass it up. That was a pretty good deal. And I did get a Platinum Trophy out of it, but I don't think I'm going to check out their other games. The next one on this list is one that honestly I had a lot more fun with, and it is a little bit more pricey. It is $7, and that is Super Destronaut DX. This game is, in my opinion, basically a Space Invaders clone. And that's the reason why I got this game, is because back in the day, I used to love anything and everything Space Invaders. Space Invaders is one of my favorite retro games of all time. So when I seen there was basically a clone on the PlayStation 4 and it was Super Destronaut DX, I wanted to give it a try. Even though it was $7, as a fan of Space Invaders, to me that was worth trying out. And honestly, this game was a lot of fun. I definitely would recommend you playing this game, especially if you're into older retro style games. This is basically Space Invaders vamped up. It is with like new graphics. It is almost like it's 3D. A little bit more of a challenge, but a whole lot of fun. So I would recommend that. Basically, all you have to do is go through each level, get through all the stages, and you will get the Platinum Trophy at the end of it. Again, this is a short game. I wish it was a lot longer. 
but it does have multiplayer, which I want to try out. And at least, even though I have the platinum, I want to at least give it a little bit more of a chance. And even though you get the platinum, there's a lot more levels after that that you can continue to play. So this is definitely something I'm going to continue to play. And that's what I enjoy with these kind of games. The next one is the most iconic one that is hated and frowned upon. And if you have it on your trophy list, a lot of people hate it. The only reason that I got it is because I didn't look up a video of what the game was. I just heard that it was $1, which is extremely cheap, and it was an easy way to get a platinum, and I wanted to test it out to see if that actually held true, and it was. The game I'm talking about is called My Name is Mayo, and all you have to do is you click on a mayo jar 10,000 times, and you can get the platinum trophy. That's all you do is you just tap the X button 10,000 times. Like I said, a cheap way to get a platinum, there's about 50 trophies to get in this process. To me, if I had known that that is all you have to do for the game, even though it was $1 and you get 50 trophies plus a platinum, I honestly would not have bought this game. But if that's what you're into, a quick, simple way to get a platinum, by all means, to each his own. This game here is the only game on my trophy list that I regret getting, but it was with the sole purpose of trying to see if it came true that it is an easy way to get a platinum. For $1, I didn't really want to pass that up, but after I found out what the game was about, I kind of wish I did. Not that I frown upon you if you guys purchase the game and try it out, I just wish I had looked up what the game was about more than just hearing that people hated it. Because I'm typically the type of person that, even if people hate a certain game, if it's hugely frowned upon, I sometimes like the game and I wanted to try out this game because it was hugely frowned upon and I actually did not enjoy it. So it kind of backfired on me there, but it is what it is. The next game is called Monster Jam Crush It. This game here, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I want to say it was under $3. The reason I bought this game is because back on the PlayStation 2, back whenever I was playing on that, there was a lot of Monster Jam games and they were really in-depth, races, whole bunch of stadium stuff. It was a lot of fun. And I purchased this game with the mentality of that's what it was going to be like, and it was not. Basically, all that happens in this game is it's basically like a game on your phone, and it's kind of like 2D in a 3D world where you cannot steer your vehicle. You can just go forward and backwards, and you just go through all the levels. That's all it is to it. It's an easy way to get a platinum. Honestly, I got the Platinum within one day. I just played this game straight, got the Platinum because that was my goal. And I thought I bought the game. I might as well finish it and get that Platinum for it. It was an easy way to do it. But I, as a Monster Jam game, I expected so much more out of it. And it just wasn't that great of game. Now, for under $3, can you really pass that up? And can you really complain that it's not what you thought it was going to be? Not really, but I wish it was a lot more. Later in 2019, it is already announced, I believe, that there's going to be a real Monster Jam game coming out, and I'm really excited for it to see if it meets up to my expectations from back on the PlayStation 2 days. The next game is something that I have on this list as being cheap, but the only reason for that is because it was free for PlayStation Plus a couple months ago. Another reason that this game is cheap is because it's extremely glitchy and so easy to get the Platinum because there's admin panels for it. This game is regular $50, which if you bought it for $50, I feel real sorry for you because it's, to me, not worth anything. I'm glad I got it for free, but even then, eh, not really worth it. And the game I'm talking about is Conan Exiles. It came out in 2015. It is basically a barbarian game, but it is extremely glitchy. You can fall out and fall through the map extremely easily. Not a lot of fun. The gameplay, mechanics, everything about it is kind of cheap. But like I said, you can go through the admin panels, advance your character, and get all of these trophies and platinum the game extremely easy. There is one trophy that requires you to have a friend online, but that's about it. It's an easy way to get a platinum. If you pay $50 for it, I would not recommend it, and that to me is a waste of $50. But if you got it free a couple months ago from PlayStation Plus, it's a great game to get for free to get a platinum. Other than that, it's not worth it. And the last game, in my opinion, is the most fun game on this whole list, and it's called Ink Explosion. This game I got on sale for $3.50. It's regular $7. And even though it is a fast game as well, 
I struggled with it, and after I got the Platinum, it felt like I definitely deserved it. All you do in this game is go through each level. Each level, you get a random gun, and you have to destroy three other players who are trying to shoot you. It is sounds like it's more in-depth, but it's basically 2D, and the reason it's called Ink Explosion is because whenever you get a kill, they explode into whatever color that they were. I, I don't know how else to word it, but it's a extremely fun game and I got a platinum out of it. Now, the one thing I don't like about this game is you can't decide what gun you're going to be for every level. The worst gun in my opinion was the rockets, but everything else was so much fun and you basically have to grind out because one of the trophies is to get to level 100 or 100,000 points or maybe there's two trophies like that. 100 points uh, 100,000 points and another trophy separate which is get to level 100. The one level 100 one is kind of easy in my opinion. The 100,000 points is tricky because you have to be fast because the faster you are on each level, the easier it is to get more points. If you're slower on every level or you, if you get shot a lot, you don't get as many points. So a little bit of a grindy game, but extremely fun. I enjoyed it. I got it done within a couple hours, which I know, like I said, I like longer games, but because it was such a grind and such a struggle at parts, after getting the Platinum, I thought it was well worth it. It was honestly a very enjoyable game, and I highly recommend this game. Like I said, these are all cheap games. They didn't cost more than $10. Most of them are around the $3 mark. But for me, I didn't get these games to get a Platinum. I purchased these games just to try them out. For under $10, I didn't really see anything wrong with that. I just wanted to try out a game that I thought was pretty cheap. And I ended up getting a Platinum Trophy. So if you guys didn't know about these games and you guys are trophy hunters like myself and you want to boost your trophy count and boost your Platinum count, I definitely would check out these games. Some of them are more fun than others. The two I'd recommend are Ink Explosion and Super Destronaut DX. But that is just my personal opinion of what I prefer out of this list, what I thought was the most fun. For me, I would recommend checking them all out and seeing what you enjoy the most or at least looking up videos online and seeing if it's kind of the style of game and the gameplay is what you're used to and what you enjoy. That way you can make an honest decision of what you want to check out first. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I tried to make it short for you guys, but to also share a bunch of games that are cheap to get a platinum because that was the purpose of this video. If there's any that I missed or maybe if there's ones that I haven't played because everything on this list are ones that I've played and personally platinumed, so if there's any games that are cheap under $10 that you felt were easy to platinum and they, like I said, were under $10, let me know down in the description below because if it's something that interests me, I might try out. But if it's something like My Name is Mayo, something cheap like that, I'm going to have to pass. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please take care. Peace.